Hi Aries, welcome to your reading. This is gonna be for January 2024. It is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're gonna get into your current energy, the near future, what you don't see coming, and then what Spirit wants you to focus on this month. And then we'll take a look at what's going on with you and your person. If you are returning, welcome back. Thank you guys for all of your support. If you're new, welcome. I do hope if you enjoy the messages, you'll consider subscribing. And if you'd like a personal reading, that information's in the description box below or the about section of my channel. All right, so let's see what's going on with you guys. Your overall energy, we have the seven of cups. I just heard a lot of emotions. So usually with the seven of cups, there can be a little bit of confusion going on. Um, a lot of different opportunities or maybe you just feel like your emotions are kind of I don't want to say all over the place but you could have a lot of things going on at once that you're having to handle and deal with so that may be what's causing a little bit of oof, my brain just feels a little bit cloudy because I've got so many things that I need to deal with and handle right now so it may feel a little bit like emotional overwhelm all right, let's look at your current energy. All right, we have the Ace of Cups, which is good. So I feel like your focus is gonna get narrowed down. This is actually also a need to put more of your emotional attention onto yourself. And I feel like things are gonna start working out much better if they've been feeling a little bit confusing. This is a, a very singular energy. It could also be that some of you, those of you that are single, that somebody new is going to be coming into your life. Let's see what comes next. Now, th that could be happening in the current energy. So the four swords, thinking things through, no doubt, and the star. Okay, so for a lot of you, if you've been single for a while and been hoping for new love, this could be the, the love that you've been hoping for. And the seven of cups to me could be dating different people and kind of putting yourself out there. And then finally there's one that really piques your interest. And I think you're going to take your time with it. You want to think things through. The star card is also about healing. So there could be a lot of healing going on. Also just releasing things from the past and focusing more on the future. And she's pouring water out. So what she's leaving behind and also pouring in the front is kind of doing things at the same time. So you may find that somebody new that you meet also helps heal your heart. I don't think I've ever said that in a reading, but that's, it feels really, really good. Now that could be an Aquarius, a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. There's a lot of water energy. We also have Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. It doesn't have to be. All right, so let's look at the near future. We have the Knight of Swords. Okay, so somebody's going to be coming in and telling you. Could be a Capricorn. Now, the devil energy does not always have to be toxic energy. It depends on the reading and how I'm reading the cards put together. In this case, I feel like somebody's going to come in and you have to be aware that their energy is not the same as somebody that you've dealt with in the past. You may be triggered just a little bit because they may seem very intense. That's really the energy I'm picking up on. So there's a lot of intensity and a lot of passion. Now, I'm also going to give you another message. There could be something that comes in, um, a message that does seem a little toxic in nature, could be coming from a Capricorn or somebody who has those, you know, those types of, um, I'm not saying Capricorns do, but it could be somebody who has like attachment issues and maybe when they converse with you, they tend to only focus on negative things. Just be aware of that energy. Let's see what comes out after. Seven of Pentacles. I don't think you're going to give it the time of day. If this person comes in and they tell you things or their negativity is there, I would say just brush it off. It's not worth giving your energy to. It's not important. But as far as somebody new in your life or this experience that you're having, which feels very connected to love, I would say that it's not something that you're going to have to wait for. Someone's going to tell you pretty quickly how they feel, but it may feel a little intense. Okay, so let's keep going and see what you don't see coming. The Knight of Pentacles is in reverse. And then we have the Queen of Swords. Okay, so the Page of Swords. N no doubt somebody's been watching you. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse with the Queen of Swords. If you're not sure about how you want to move forward, again, remember I said you're not even going to give this person who's being toxic energy. If this is the other energy I'm picking up on, 
you may want to take things really, really, really slow at first, and maybe you're not going to open up very quickly because that may have bit you in the butt in the past. But if this is somebody that you know has like not good intentions, just be aware of it because there may be people around you that are constantly watching what you're doing. And yeah, I mean, I don't like to say this all the time, but yeah, there's probably people who are jealous of you. So just be cautious of those around you at this time. All right, let's look at what spirit wants you to focus on. So we have the 10 of cups. This could be a uh, more attention on children, family, your happiness in general. Ace of Cups is also about filling your own cup, but you can do that first and then focus on these other things. But truly the happiness that you have in your life right now is where they want you to focus and maybe more on your, your family because that brings more comfort. The moon is coming out after that and then we have the Three of Wands. So if something pops up and you're unsure because there's the Seven of Cups and the moon, which can indicate a little bit of confusion. There may be some confusion that's going on around some family members, but I think everything's going to be okay. You could be dealing with a Pisces, uh, the three of wands. Maybe you're not sure where things are going to go. Let's say you're in a current relationship and maybe there's been some confusion about what's going to happen moving forward. I think this is just a, a trust, trust that things are going to be revealed to you, especially if you're feeling a little confused. All right, so your challenge, we have the fool. Mm, I can see why your energy feels a little resistant. You wanna think things through in any of the scenarios that I have mentioned. So you may not be feeling like you really wanna take a chance with things because you're feeling a little bit more cautious. Your, your little spidey senses are up. I feel like you're really conscious of people's energy at this time and you're aware of what people's intentions are. So you're very cautious as how you move with things because once we're burned, we're pretty good about not making that the same decisions as we've made before if we recognize the signs. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and clarify this. So let's see what's going on with the Seven of Cups. Okay, so we have the Two of Swords. So decisions are not going to be difficult, although it may seem like there's a lot that you have to choose from here as far as either if you're dating or there's some things that you really love to do and you're just not sure which way to take it. I think your focus is going to narrow again, like I'd mentioned before, and you're going to focus on the one thing that brings you the most fulfillment. So I don't think you're going to be tied up or feeling like you can't make choices. I think it's going to be pretty easy. Seven of Pentacles, once you do make a choice, they want you to continue to hold on to that because it's going to be lucrative. It may not seem so if this is around your work or your um, business. Give it a little bit of time because I think things are going to grow. As long as you're doing what you love, as you're putting that energy in because it doesn't feel like work when you do what you love and then it continues to grow. So some of you, this is going to be a dream come true in your work environment. Death is in reverse, which is good because that means there's some transformation that's already taken place. Even though it may still feel a little bit clouded, that change is happening. And then we have the page of wands, which is a good sign because you're gonna start seeing things a little bit differently. It's like the light is gonna be shown on something specific. It, sometimes we have to refresh ourselves and just shift a little bit in how we do something, especially in our work environment. And then things start to really change when we start to really enjoy what we're doing. Okay, so as far as a new love offer, you may be thinking this through and taking your time, 10 of wands, because you've carried the weight probably of relationships on your own for so long. And there's just a lot that you have to handle or that you carry. And you really don't want to repeat patterns of the past where you've carried the weight for everyone before. And in this case, I feel again, like this is going to be about you, which is good. Primary focus is going to be on yourself, releasing things from the past, still healing, things like that. But much more, I love this with the Queen of Pentacles, much more focused on yourself, your drive, your independence. And that's also a sign of success. If there has been any kind of delays in getting you to the point where you want to be financially, 
that's what I feel like is also changing. So anything that's been weighing you down where you feel a little bit overwhelmed or challenged, the Queen of Pentacles tells me you're getting to that place where you feel stable again. So the Knight of Swords with the Devil, we have the King of Cups. There's somebody else around. Remember I said somebody coming in that may be very passionate about you? Uh, if you're already dealing with this person, great, because I feel like they're very emotionally mature and very uh, stable. They just feel like a very nurturing and loving energy. It's a great one. Now, if there's someone around you that is bringing in information and you know that they're being catty, there's somebody around you that's also protecting you, okay? The devil with the seven of pentacles, we have the knight of pentacles, great. I do think this is about keeping your energy very grounded and moving at a steady pace. That's why they said have patience while things continue to grow because they are. I feel like you're taking the proper steps. Even though the seven of pentacles is showing up in reverse here, you feel like it's been a long wait. And maybe some of you, it's like, I have to let go of one aspect of how I'm doing things in my work life and focus on another and then be very steady and grounded and specific about the next steps that I take. All right, now the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. It's interesting because it's in the upright here and the reverse here, what you don't see coming. That I feel like is you taking things a little bit slow and maybe not feeling like you wanna rush or be too open with people because of being burned in the past and or just shutting somebody off and not moving forward with them. If this person brings you the information, I just don't think you're gonna give it life. And then we have the Hangman. Um, it, it, this is, it, listen, there are people around you that are probably stuck and stagnant. And if they are jealous of the changes that you have made in your life or the successes that you have achieved and things like that, they, you know, their energy just isn't worth it. Who cares? You know, you're here to do this for you and the people that you care about. So if they seem to be a stuck person and they always want to focus on what you're doing, they're not worth giving your energy to. All right, so the Queen of Swords in reverse with the Page of Swords in reverse. There's the Page of Swords in the upright. Interesting, again, to clarify the Page of Swords. So there's a lot of eyes on you right now. You may feel the energies kind of strong because people want to see what's going on with you. Both people who like you and the haters. So be aware of that as well. Now what Spirit wants you to focus on, the Ten of Cups with the Moon. We have the Six of Swords. So whatever it is that maybe you don't feel like you understand how things are going to move forward, they are going to get better. They're leading to a good place. So just stay with it. Because here it, it told me you weren't sure what the outcome was going to be and you weren't sure what to expect. Six of Swords means if there's any conflict within family or something's been happening with this person and you're unsure, you're going to get to a better place about it. You're going to have your own personal resolve. So that doesn't guarantee that you and that person necessarily are going to work things out. But it does feel like you are going to get to a better place. And then after that, we have the Six of Pentacles. See, it, sometimes it's worth giving your energy to a situation and sometimes it's not. If it, people in your family like have taken and taken and taken and you've just given until it hurts, this is where you may have to make a decision where you have to cut something off. Even with family members, sometimes we have to in order to find peace of mind. So you may find yourself having to make a tough decision around that. All right, so let's go to your challenge with the fool in reverse. We have the king of pentacles. So if you have felt, a little, like I said before, if you felt a little bit out of control with situations that have been happening and you haven't been sure how to take the next steps or you don't want to because you've dealt with things that created instability, I think that may still be a challenge, like you're not sure how to regain full control. And the Queen of Pentacles told me in the upright that you're going to find it, regardless of your gender. It's just talking about energies. So that could be a stronger feminine energy, even for a male. And this could be talking about, you know, that masculine side of your energy that wants to be kind of back in control of things. This is just a feeling of being stable again. This tells me that there may be a fear that if you take a chance that something may not work out. But I'm here to tell you it's going to because you're going to see things a little different. If you had to change what you were doing in your work and start moving in a different direction, it's going to be successful. But I can see where you might have some fears about things 
not going the way that you had hoped. All right, so we are going to get some advice really quick before we switch into you and your person. Let's see what advice we have for Aries. Strength, okay. So this is what you're gonna be embodying. A lot of courage and strength it's gonna take, but you're gonna make it through. So they want you to understand that that's gonna be something you'll start feeling again if you hadn't been. The Knight of Wands in reverse, sometimes it takes a lot of strength to push forward and feel inspired. And they just want you to, to first work on the strength part and then worry about feeling fired up and passionate about taking action. The Knight of Cups in reverse, it's important that, again, like I said, that you love what you do because the Knight of Cups is, it's all about going for things that you do love. It can be, to me, Knights are all about action. So if you're going towards the things that you love, as hard as it may be, and as much courage as it may take, because it's a little scary, if something hasn't worked out in the past, you may have fears that it won't again. But I think they're trying to tell you to, when the time is right, to take the steps and trust. And then we have the Eight of Swords. Because... It, it, you don't want to stay in the energy of fear that you're going to feel trapped or sometimes you feel trapped in your head. They just want you to be aware of that at this time. If there's overthinking happening or you feel like you're keeping yourself small, don't do that. Please don't do that. Allow yourself to go out there and be as big and as bold as you possibly can, regardless of how many boats it may shake because you've got what it takes. So sometimes this can be self-imposed. We all do it. We all get stuck in our heads and we feel like we can't do something or we're not sure what direction to go. Um, they just want you to continue to push forward and don't give up. All right, so we're gonna get into the energy of you and your person. So let's see what's going on. All right, so your person's energy, we have the Five of Cups in reverse with the Five of Pentacles. Interesting. So if somebody left your life, this may be a completely different energy than what we're talking about in the main reading, the King of Cups, or they seem a little detached. They, hmm, see, this is it. Somebody deals with things on a much more mature level. And if that's not what you've dealt with, then this may not be for you in this particular reading. I do feel like this person wants to either come towards you or they have the emotions. Maybe you doubt it or you have fears that they're still either stuck on something that they had dealt with in the past or that they have abandonment issues. I don't think so. I, I'd say give them a chance because if this is the new person I'm picking up on or someone you've just recently been with, even if it's somebody you've been with for a long time, they're actually pretty emotionally stable. And then we have the Hierophant. Um, this is somebody who likes the long term. Um, some of you could have been married to this person or are could have been are married to this person and they take that seriously. Uh, some are dealing with someone who wants to get married and believes in long term, deep, connected relationships. Let's see where you are. Four of Swords in reverse, two of pentacles. Okay, so you're going back and forth. Hmm. The sun is in reverse and then the nine of cups. So you have conflicted energy. I think a part of you may have experienced things in the past and there's a little bit of fear that maybe you won't be fulfilled. So you're going back and forth about what to do. I don't necessarily think you're overthinking things, but there's certainly a part of you that wants to make sure that your needs are met always, which is definitely important. So I feel like there's part of you that is fulfilled by this. But something is definitely a little bit off. Maybe you're not feeling as happy um, as you feel like you should be. And if it's something new, you may be wanting to take your time because you've dealt with past relationships that disappointed. All right, let's keep going and see what we get with the Romance Angels. Okay. So we have retreat, God, as much as I shuffle these cards, the same thing's coming out for all the fire signs. It is time to disconnect from the world. And then it's the same cards, doesn't matter how I shuffle them. All of you fire signs must be going through something where you've either dealt with people who have deceived you or you fear that somebody is, let's see, true love. 
Again, no matter how much I shuffle them, the same cards are coming out. So this is the romance of a lifetime. So you may fear that there is deception there. And a part of you is like, but I really love this person. Let's keep going. Release your ex. The time has come to... Uh, okay. Remember I said with the star card, there's some healing. For some of you, this could have been a past relationship. Even if you've been in one for a long time, or you just met somebody and they're not exactly like your ex, but you haven't released the ex. Whatever the scenario is, I think part of the healing process for you is to release those experiences so that you don't project them onto somebody new or someone that you're even currently with or have been for a while because those past pains definitely can trigger things. And we can sometimes take out our emotions on somebody who doesn't necessarily deserve it because they're not the same person. So just be aware of that if something pops up with your current person. All right, let's get couple of cards from the lover's oracle. We've got look inside yourself, examine what is causing you to feel this way. That's what I was just saying. What's causing you to feel this way if you're feeling a little bit triggered? When it comes to matters of the heart, there's no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. So you may be having to ask that and you're becoming more conscious of the things that are being triggered from past situations. Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Absolutely. And if you're single and haven't met this person I was talking about yet, it seems like their energy is trying to work their way into your life. Romance, Cupid's arrow strikes. Okay. So for a lot of you, this is going to be somebody new. All right. Let's get a couple of cards from the Wisdom of the Oracle. Close this out for you. What do we have for Aries? Ooh. Okay. So I'm going to take the ones that flipped out one by one. By the book, so some of you, very traditional energy, um, 11, so you could be seeing 11, born on the 11th, the first or the second of the month. And then we have milk and honey. It's always very important to nurture yourself. For some of you, this is going to be a lot of what you do. You could be 51, born on the 5th, the first or the sixth of the month. And then we have peace. So with five energy changes, peace that's what I feel like is coming into your life. So if things have been a little off kilter or you've just felt a little edgy lately, I think that's where the energy is trying to shift is into a much more peaceful place. So you could be 23, born on the 2nd, the 3rd, or the 5th of the month. Then we have to the sea. Sevens, oh, this is always about going with the flow. The best that you know how. Pay attention to the 7th of the month. And then we have unfinished symphony. So remember I said, we're leaving the past Leaving the past in the past is going to be super important because there's a new start happening. When 10s come in, that's finishing out something and starting new. So you could be born on the 10th or the 1st of the month. Okay, my loves, those are your messages. Thank you so, so much for being here. Please hit that like button on your way out and leave me a message if you feel like you'd like to. I'd love to hear from you. And if you would like a personal reading, as I mentioned before, that information is in the description box below or the about section of my channel. I hope you guys have an amazing month. Sending you a ton of love and I'll see you in the next one.